Uh, hi, Urvi. This is Sheetal. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good too. Thank you. And I'm very uh, happy to have you here. Uh, and I have a, uh, I wanted to uh, discuss with you, you know, you're like, you know, in our adult life, all of us aim to be successful uh, in some way or the other. Some Somebody might want to be a movie star or somebody is an ac academic. So in your life, what is your definition of success? You know, she thought that's a great question. I think depending on how you've been raised and what, you know, what are your inner, inner kind of motivations, success can be defined very differently. Uh, coming from a corporate world, I know that success was defined by basically your, you know, how much, how much salary and wealth can you generate and what's your title? And I worked in the corporate environment for 20 years and I realized that I was chasing success in a way that wasn't aligned with who I was. Today, I consider myself very, very successful, not because I'm wealthy and not because I have a title, but because I'm emotionally wealthy and I'm mentally uh, wealthy. And what I mean by that emotional wealth and mental wealth is that once I moved away from trying, once I moved away from a traditional definition of title and salary as success, and figured out what I wanted and who I was, I realized that I became a stronger person by having the right people in my life. And emotionally wealthy means that no matter what I go through, what challenges I go through in life, I know that I have people that care and love me and that they're never gonna go away. Wealth can actually come and go. Uh, but these people, the only way they would go away is, you know, if I really became that person, nobody wanted to be around, you know, and I would hope that I can never became that person. Um, <laughs> but, you know, that emotional wealth really doesn't go away and they accept me for who I am and I accept them for who they are, which is why they're in my life. You know, I have a partner and his two kids, but I have this life family, this extended what I call life family, they're not my best friends. Other people could label them as best friends, but to me, they're more like family because I have had, you know, I've gone through life with them in different ways. They've been there through the up and downs. I've argued with some of them and they're still around. You know, we do that with family, right? We can have arguments and, you know, they don't go away in our life. And then mentally, I went through a self-awareness journey, which allowed me to understand myself more. And when I started understanding myself more, it gave me more ways to communicate with people. It gave me more ability to understand what are my strengths? What can I use to become successful, if that makes sense? And eventually, you know, the financial wealth comes with all of that. And so, you know, I've gone up and down and building and using my wealth for different things. And at the end of the day, I don't think I will ever measure myself by the financial wealth, but always by my emotional and mental wealth. Okay. So very, very nicely said, you know, because I also feel when wherever there is love, money follows. And uh, exactly. You, <laughs> yeah. And then this untraditional way of looking at success is really, you know, elevating and anybody could pick up uh, whatever you're sharing and turn their life around and to have a really meaningful life with their loved ones, friends and family, basically. Right. Yeah. Well, and especially I'm hoping that in the last year, it's become even more um more people have realized that how important that is, you know, because people have had to spend time with family. And to me, I've got, I've received so much joy in the last year with my partner and the kids being in the house and spending that time with them and being able to have lunch every day. And, you know, the moments that we spend together are part of my life, you know, um, and I, I enjoy it. And I, and I actually learn quite a bit from these three people in my life too. Um, it helps me continue to grow um, and be happier in general. So I, I, I would see no reason why I shouldn't enjoy that part of it. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And as you pointed out rightly, you know, these COVID times, people are stuck in a small houses, uh, but you know, at the same time, on the other hand, you could spend creating, spend time creating wonderful memories with your family, absolutely. which you're doing, right? Yep. Yeah. And in our uh, Ulvi, so I uh, remember you're mentioning your self-awareness journey and how it uh, provided you all the solutions you were looking for in life. 
please share more on this topic with us. Absolutely. So I believe personally that self-awareness is, is the key to solving lots of challenges. Um, we, I think as humans, we forget how complex each of us individually are. And if we forget how complex we are, we forget how complex everybody around us is. You know, we have our own ways of thinking, our own ways of working, our own ways of making decisions, of communicating. And when you start breaking all that apart, you know, we, we forget that we make a lot of assumptions on other people because we expect them to be like us, you know? But the fact of the matter is we're not like each other. Yes, there's some commonalities and things, but everybody's experiences, how they have been brought up, how their brain is wired, all of that makes us very unique. And I will say that through the self-awareness journey, I have, my own journey has become much more fulfilled because I'm aware of who I am and therefore make decisions in my life based on that, but I'm also able to get other people to become aware of who they are and work with them so that it creates, let's say, less dissonance in relationships, less tension in relationships. It creates better solutions. Um, and so that self-awareness journey, I'd been on it for a while, but I would say that around 33, um, I had a very big kind of shift in my life. Um, I was going up the corporate ladder, great from a professional perspective. Um, however, I got divorced for a second time and nobody wants to do that by the time they're 33. And I had this aha moment where I'm, I'm just gonna focus on me and I'm going to uh, move forward in my life based on learning about myself and then making decisions based on that. And so, I went on this journey. I learned more about myself. I realized why I was so unfulfilled in the corporate environment. I realized what my strengths were and started focusing on those and then looking for roles based on my strengths, which eventually has led me to now being my own startup founder and having my own coaching business, um, which eventually helped me find my now life partner and his two kids. Because I was self-aware, I was able to express to him who I was for us to be able to say, is this the right partnership? Same thing with my business partner. We were able to express who we were to be able to see, oh, there are certain mindsets that are very similar, but yet we bring totally different skill sets to the table. And oh, by the way, do our personalities match, right? Can we actually work together to build something? These are things that at the end of the day, when I wake up every day, I'm engaged with life. I'm engaged with life because I have the right people in my life. I have the right people in my life because I know myself and I've been able to articulate who I am to them, which allows them to accept me for who I am, not who they are. And I think that's really critical in day-to-day -day life, whether it's day-to-day -day life and relationships, whether it's work, um, whether it's social relationships, knowing more about ourselves helps us know when things don't work and when things work, and then being able to focus on the things that actually work. Okay, yeah. Ulvi, this has been amazing listening to you because this is like a life mantra you can uh, lead your life by. And uh, what happens is I also feel at times, you know, I am sending mixed signal to the universe. You know, I want something and I don't want it also. So I am not aware of who I am. And as a result, I don't get anything. I think, oh, I deserve so much better, but why things are not right. happening? Because I'm not self-aware. So yeah. uh, I feel inspired to do my self journey first uh, in order to find the right kind of people in my life and have a successful yep. life in, in the terms you define success, emotional success. And, I, and one tip that I can give is mm -hmm. that the self awareness yeah. journey can be as simple as looking through a couple of different things. One, defining values, you know, define five values that matter to you right here, right now, and know that those values could change depending on the time of your life. But overall, those values won't change drastically. Like you won't go from five certain values today to five different values in five years, right? They might tweak a little bit, some words may change, but values, um, being able to take personality tests, not because that's exactly who you are, but it gives you a starting point 
to say, oh, this is who I am. This is who I'm not. Because just because a personality test gives you a result doesn't mean you're exactly that. It just is giving you words to say, oh, this is how I can articulate myself to others, right? You don't have to say, oh, I'm this, 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 and a personality test. All you have to do is use the actual words. Um, and then also looking into um, cognitive thinking styles. And what I mean by that is, you know, how do you process information? You know, do you, do you process data differently than processing conversations, right? Where do you really enjoy, um, you know, spending your brain space? Is it in conversation or is it being an introvert, right? So just thinking about your cognitive styles a little bit and understanding that a little bit more, adding in the personality words and having your values is a great start to going on that journey. Thank you. And this is mind blowing, actually, because practical tips, you know, how to go on a self awareness journey. Yes. Nothing could be better out of this conversation, which we did just now. <laughs> and on behalf of any listeners who are going to listen to this, you know, uh, our conversation, I want to thank you for practical tips so much, Ruby. Thank you, Sheetal, for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, same here. Wonderful to connect with you. Thank you.